This is a proof of concept item created for the cross country skiing Olympic team in Norway. We have created this out of spare parts that we had laying around the shop, so this is not the finished project. The final treadmill will be longer and wider to allow for greater range of motion. This part of the test involves double pulling and skating technique performed on the treadmill with no elevation involved. It's the flat treadmill with double pulling and skating technique. It just takes a little bit of uh, practice. Yeah, you haven't done it. I mean, you've had all of them. This is the first time I do this. Philip Dimitriev is an expert cross-country skier and an expert cross-country roller skier. He has founded a group for cross-country roller skiing in San Antonio, Texas, but he has never done this on a treadmill before. technique right now. Uh, it feels great, great uh, grip, good traction, both uh, roller skis and the poles uh, feel very comfortable. Uh, and also like I mentioned before, this is the first time I uh, do this on the treadmill. So bear with me, you know, so, uh, but you know, for my first experience, feels great. I mean, seriously, I, I love it. Uh, the only thing when it comes to uh, doing a V2 or V2 alternate is you have limited um, on the width, but this is the prototype. So the final treadmill is gonna be much wider so you can really uh, explore the range of motions. Um, yeah, we're, and again, we're here at uh, 150 centimeters on this one is our width on this, because this is a belt we had laying around, rollers we had laying around. The actual one is spec'd at 250 centimeters instead of the 150 what he's playing with. Right. Um, so uh, we're gonna do the incline. 10. Uh, what is it? 10 degrees yeah. incline. And, and we got to what? What speed we got to? Uh, nine. Nine point. Nine point one miles per hour. Uh, so is what we got for our max speed. For and. And literally, Philippe has been on this thing for probably 20 minutes total. Yeah. So that, that was our start. And yet, we didn't have any wheel slippage or right. pole slippage in the tape technique. Yeah, uh, if, if, if you guys uh, you know, looking for a, a higher speed, I mean, you can go higher. It's just, uh, like, a, like you mentioned, you know, this is my first time, but once I get more practice, I can go much faster. But this is not my goal right now. You know, my goal is to kind of get used to the uh, machine uh, and show you what you know what this thing can do and what's with it. Yeah, it's so this, software. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it, again, this is not the final uh, version. This is the prototype, and the uh, the final one will be about this wide. So 
you can add this much of a, a pattern. What is it? Belt. Yeah, the belt. Will be so you can actually really. Uh, and it'll have at yeah. that stage too. It'll have foot rails. It'll have the support rails. It'll have the siding out. This is all open. That's not how the final one would be. It'll actually have platform that goes out past the lip of the belt. So it won't. This won't be the final width. So this was just to get this one to work, and so we can send you a video. All right, well, that's all, right. all I have to say. I love it so uh, so far. So let's continue. <laughs>